Buddy, um, starting off the morning, um, editing some video and uh, getting a little top of mind that interview that Karen and I did out and uploaded and um, editing my vlog and then heading off. First meeting, I uh, was asked to be an MC at a what were they calling a silver pageant. So those that are basically 65 or 55 and up. So going to like a little planning session should be a lot of fun. Let's go. Hey there everybody, hope you're doing well. Um, wife just called me um, between my meeting here and um, was wanted to let me know that she actually got paid. Uh, she started uh, selling uh, hair products for Monet. So excited about that. And so she's made a few hundred bucks. And so today though, she got a big paycheck, um, over a thousand dollars. It's like 1150 or something like that. No, 1,120. So super excited. Thank you for anybody that's uh, decided to be a part of it and buy the products and, and, uh, and help her out. So um, super excited for her and the success that she's having. Definitely has pushed her. She's not a salesperson person at all. Um, we are almost polar opposites when it comes to engaging with others. She loves one-on-one -on -one conversations. For me, I'm all about the masses, right? The more people I talk to, the more comfortable that I am. And I, and I look for opportunities where I can go and talk to other people. So I'm actually looking to set up a, a, a weekly taste test here at the uh, Pepsi Cola uh, distribution plant here. They, they cover a, a good chunk of our region around here. So I uh, want to be able to see if they're open to doing something creative. Sherm's out. Hope you're doing well, everybody. I'm um, going to squint this one out. Um, wanted to be able to just talk, follow up on a conversation I had last week about being able to be a leader and being um, a people builder. And this theme is becoming extremely more powerful the more conversations I'm having with um, some business owners over time um, here in my community. And so I'd encourage you as you look at the organization that you belong to, if you don't have an actual career path where they're actually invested in taking time to develop you, you want to talk to your manager, your boss, and ask them what they're putting into place to help you develop and get to where you want to go. Just because you're good at sales doesn't mean you should be a sales manager. Just because you're good as an account doesn't mean that you should be um, a senior partner. There's skill sets that you need in order to get yourself to the next level. And the question is, the people that are above you, um, just from a hier hierar hierarchy chart, are they able to give you the skill sets and the training to get you to where you want to go? Sherm's out.